You know Babs. You and Babs are real cool. Babs. Yeah, I know Babs. That's like, my sister. Babs from making a band. Making a band, so. She was all in the like, like, huh? streets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, I, like, how did that how did that connection happen? Let's see. Babs. Um, let's see. I met Babs. Actually, before I even met Babs, I used to watch it on TV like crazy. Um, the whole making the band. I was faithful to every Tuesday night. I think it was Tuesdays or Thursdays. Yeah. I was I was there every Chopper, style. Ch Chopper, Fred, Sarah, everybody. I just like Babs just because she was like just real with it. You know, a lot of people, you know, they try to act different ways in front of the camera. I mean, everybody was real, but she had that Brooklyn swag, that that flow, and you you can't really find that throughout nobody else's world. She was doing a show at the Pyramid Club in New York or whatever. So I was like, you know what, I'm about to go. She was hosting the show, her and um the squad. Shout out to Tanita Angel. Um, Bonner Jewels, Lay Stone. Anyway, so they was doing a, you know, the show there, or whatever, and um, I ended up going up there, or whatever, and I just, she was coming up the stage. I went up to her, I was like, yo, I love you, yo, da da. I used to watch you on TV, you hot, da da. She's like, oh, thank you, pa, da da. Whatever. We exchanged numbers, and then we've been cool since then. It's been like years now. Wow. I'm actually about to head up over there after I leave here to go chill with her right now. I'm oh, so. talking about working on a song, so um, when I come back, we should have a song. Mighty Stacks, Babs Bunny. And, Let's um, go. I need some yeah, music. You can't come to my show. Yeah, you gonna have it. You gonna have you, it. I let you get a freebie. Come to my show with no music, man. I mean, let me tell you something. Once you got them contracts, you can't really do anything. Yeah. Uh, I'm not trying to get sued, but trust me, the contract is over with and whatever. And I'm about to work on my new music, which will be under the new management. And I'll be good to go. So, I'm gonna do it like that. Yo, what's good? Kane University, this is your boy Ray Ray here. It's Ray Ray's Block. It's 11.45 right now. I'm here with my special guest, Ahmad. What's going on? What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Right now, AKA Mr. 106 in Park, Mr. Wild and Out Winner, <laughs> AKA actor, singer. You do everything. Do a little bit of everything. Yeah, um, I mean, music is where I really love to be, but I mean, I'm a type of artist that any opportunity that comes over for me, I'm there for it. So let's talk about where we met real fast. Uh, we met at John Blassingain's Black Men and Black, today's Black Women Marling in the Hilton? Yeah, it was at um, in North Airport yeah. at the hotel. Um, basically, my agent at the time hit me up and was like, yeah, they're doing an audition or whatever for Black Men's Magazine or whatever. And um, I went down there. Um, it was pretty good. I mean, it was deep. Remember, it was a lot of yeah, people was, there, whatever. A lot of people there. Um, a lot of pretty faces, a lot of ugly faces. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit of everything, I'm telling you. It was a little, a little bit, bit of everything. everybody and everything. But I mean, I mean, it was good, though. Um, Matt Ray or whatever, he told me he does the radio show or whatever, and I was telling him about all the stuff I did with the whole music, the 106 in Park, making a band, you know, the movies, everything. And he was like, yo, you know, once the New Year stuff back over, I want to try to bring you on the show or whatever, and I'm here. What are you doing right now, actually? In the studio writing music and about to start working on a couple of album well tracks for an upcoming album. I'm more of a hip hop R and B sound. Mm -hmm. Um I try to base my music off of true life experiences that people will relate to. I wanna have people when you feel like you wanna go to the club and you feel like partying and living it up, pop on my track. Or when you sad, you feel like you're depressed, you got some things you gotta go through, lay off your chest, pop on my track. So I wanna make music for all type of emotions, feelings, everything. Actually, you're from Shabazz, Shabazz High School. Wow, shout out to Shabazz, Bulldogs, 06. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> shout out. Shabazz is crazy, though. Yeah, tell me about Jersey it. in the building. Jersey so, what do you feel about the other, the Jersey movement, like the cartels, DJ Slick, uh, Chad B? What do I you mean, feel about that? I them? mean, Jersey, we here, but I mean, we could be stronger, we, you know. We, we definitely could be stronger. Um, I guess it's gonna be up to me oh. right now. Oh. <laughs> I guess it's gonna it's be up to me. Hey, on the shoulders. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think Joe Button's coming back up or whatever the case yeah. may be. So, shout out to Lady Luck. She's still with Jersey. So, I mean, we're gonna do it regardless. I actually met Rod Digger. Um, what, I think like a few months ago, whatever. She cool. I mean, she's still holding Jersey down regardless. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, we, we, I mean, we in there. We in there. We in there. We just gotta bring it back. I mean. Yeah. New York kind of taking over down it's south out. a little bit, but I mean, we here. Like, I feel like Jersey's biggest moment was Joe Budden at one point, and like, Naughty by Nature, like way back yeah, in the day. I mean, like, <laughs> that's true, but I mean, we just gotta get back on our grind. We've been mm -hmm. slipping away, we let the south take over, New York go ahead and run. I guess we figured since we in tri-state everywhere in New mm -hmm. York, we just gonna go ahead and hop on this ship, but nah, we gotta bring Jersey out for ourselves. So, I mean, check me out, I'm gonna be the one to do it. What makes me want to listen to Amad other than uh, Chris Brown or Neo or Trey. 
I mean, everybody has their own style, whatever, and people can relate to everyone's different situations, but I'm just gonna bring it from my viewpoint. Um, I'm gonna bring that Jersey flow, and just, I mean, it's just gonna be different. You just have to wait and see. Explain being on one of park and in that moment. Okay. Well, explain leading up to that moment and then what happened in the moment. Um, 106 in Park. Um, well, they was doing um, auditions for 106 in Park or whatever. Actually auditioned, um, got the cut. Then they told us that we have to go against other contestants for the Wild Out Wednesday competition. Um, went up there, did my thing. We had to wait for the audience and the viewers at home to call in and vote. And at the end, end up winning. So. Simple as that. Yeah, I mean, that was it. And that's where it all started at from there. I just took it from there and kept it moving. We were on making the band four for, for a little while. Yeah. Then he was trying to get that day 26 mm. boy band, uh, Joe to see part three. Part, yeah. I remember that. Um, <sighs> Gotta take it back. Making the band four. It was crazy. I remember I was still in high school at the time. Me and a couple of my friends actually skipped school that day to go try for the band or whatever. Um, it was at Club Boulevard in Manhattan. It was snowing. I'll never forget that. We was in line for like three, four hours just to even get inside Club Boulevard. Got inside, another long line. Had to wait for like another hour or two. Finally got up there, I got the audition for uh, Michael Bivens from New Edition or whatever. Everything was good. They liked me, I went to the next round. The part that messed me up was Lorian Gibson. Shout out. Um, <laughs> basically, <laughs> shout out, yeah, shout out. It's basically the whole choreography, that boom cat and all that stuff she liked to do. It wasn't working. Have a movie coming up? Or I'm actually shooting right now. Or yeah, I'm actually on March the 14th. I'm going to be an extra in this upcoming movie called Bones. Um, also, before that, I did this other movie, independent movie called Short sure Thing, and actually just October, I just did a movie. Um, called Night of the Pumpkin. We filled that in City Island in the Bronx. The people actually who yeah, um, produced sweet. that was what Harrington Talents, the same people who uh, made uh, 50 Cents uh, before I self destruct. Okay. So, I mean, it was a good thing, you know, to add to the resume or whatever. And the people, they were real talented. You know, they took their time with you. And I mean, the movie came out pretty good. Make sure y'all check it out. Night of the Pumpkin. It's good. You're in film, you're in music. Where do you, where do you see yourself going with this? Um, hopefully, well, actually, I'm actually in works with uh, different labels, whatever. Hopefully, get signed. Hopefully, by this year, if not this year, next year. I'm not really pushing the issue. If I never get signed, it's just the point of me actually doing music and doing what I like to do. You know, it's not really for me just getting signed. It's just for me just enjoying. It's like a hobby to me, you know, mm -hmm. and that's something I like to do. I've been singing ever since I was younger, modeling ever since, what, 16, 17, and now the movies and acting and everything. All it just comes in together with each other. So, like I said, if I never make it, it's just something I always want to do. At least I got that behind my back. Your success is a process. Like, it's not like a straight road. It's not a straight line, everybody says. So, talk about some of the hard struggles that you had to deal with so far. Trying to get signed, trying to get your music out there. <laughs> Losing manager, like talk uh, talk about some of it so people don't think it's all clean cut. My manager that I had, Kevin Connell, um, he recently just got murdered like two months ago, probably like three months ago now, and uh, the contract and deal that I have with him that's like all eliminated and right now. I'm working with another manager and um, agency or whatever, so we're trying to go into paperwork. So any of that old music and stuff that I have with him and everything, I really can't. Get released. Yeah, I can't do any of that because it was under contract. When I first off, like I said, I was going to auditions like crazy. I mean, everyone says, "Oh, it's about who you know." I mean, that's true a little bit, but before I met any of those people, I had to do what I had to do on my own. I went to a lot of auditions, standing in lines, like I said, um, a lot of. The, talent agencies and then model managers and everything I came across, they say, I'm gonna get you here, I'm gonna do this for you, and then come to find out, they were fake, you know? And then you have to start back all the way back at school, you know, route one. You have people who say, oh, we signed you to my agency, but you gotta use our photographer, he charges $3,000, you know? And I'm gonna tell anybody right now, any agency that tells you that you have to use a photographer to get somewhere, that's out. You should be able to use any photographer you want to. As I got older and started doing the business more, you know, I came across people that's real and, you know, basically showed me exactly what's what. And then I took it from there and kept it moving. It's not easy. You know, I'm still trying to make it. I'm not exactly where I want to be at, but I'm a step higher than I was last year. You know, so each year I keep trying to grow. That's it. How, how can people get in contact with you? Do you want to do a song? Do Let's wanna... see. You want to get in contact with me? First off, just Google my name. First oh, off, I mean, Google. Google. Can I tell us now? Nah, if you want to get in contact with me, hit me up on my Facebook or whatever. Amaya Hilton. Um, same thing with the Twitter, Amaya Hilton. And then on Uvu, I got all that. Uvu. Um, what's the other one? Skype. They call me Madi. T H E Y C A L L M E M A H D I. Just hit me up. And they will take it from there. And make sure y'all check me out. I got a magazine article coming out next month. 
I'm not gonna tell the name of the magazine yet. I'm, what yeah. you mean? Nah, nah, y'all gotta wait it's for radio. that. It's radio. It's, it's radio, but you know that I gave everybody my Facebook, so if you really wanna see the article, you go to my Facebook. Make okay. sure you add me, follow me on Twitter. People ain't heard your voice yet. No. They don't know where the article's none at. None of that. But then it's all you right. try to trust okay. me. Trust me, when you get it, it's gonna be good. Who else are you feeling right now, like in the game? Uh, let's yeah. see. Rapper wise or whatever. Any anybody wise. Um and any, why? Hey, hold on, first like anybody that know me already know. Favorite singer Keisha Cole. Um, I like her just because her grind, her struggle. Um, she came from the ghetto hood or whatever you want to call it, whatever. It just shows you just because you come from that, you know, that spot in your life, don't necessarily mean you have to stay there. Um, of course, shout out to my sister Babs making a band. Um, I looked at her as just as an inspiration, also because, like I said, I went through the whole thing she went through. She ended up making it, and um, I mean, it just shows you that you know, don't ever. Knock yourself when nobody tell you that you can't do nothing because regardless if you got it and you got a desire to do it, you can make it. You said another inspiration for you was uh, uh, Fantasia. Fantasia Barino. Yeah, I met her, let's see, maybe like three years ago. Um, real cool person. Um, we was actually going to exchange numbers or whatever. I guess to uh, keep in contact or whatever. Her bodyguard kind of ended that, so <laughs> shout out to him or whatever. Um, but I mean, she's a real cool person. We had sat there and talked for a little while, and she, you know, she was telling me about, you know, how everything was going for her and everything. I was telling her about, you know, my side of everything, and she's a real sweetheart person. So shout out to Fantasia. Yeah, I like Trey songs. I like Trey songs. Um, I like Chris Brown. Be cool. Ooh. I mean, I really can't speak for nobody else in the music business. I mean. I'm trying to do my own thing, so I mean, I, I got certain people that I listen to, look up to, whatever. But in the meantime, I gotta make a name for myself. So, do you uh, do you write your own stuff or no? I do write my own music. Um, I haven't written anything lately because I've been, you know, working with the producers and everything like that, trying to find a beat and everything. But I do have some ideas in mind that I will be writing too. So yeah, I do write my own music. Anything? Any last words before we get out of here? Um, no. I mean, like I said, follow me on Twitter. Um, hit me up on Facebook. Any collabs? Model wins, fashion week coming up, throw me in there. I mean, and just look for me. I mean, I'm all over the place, just look for me. Give a shout, my brother Bam right here. Check him out. Um, he doing his music thing too, so make sure y'all check him out. Y'all go find him on my page. I mean, if you got anything he want to say, he can say it or whatever. You got anything? Most definitely shout out to Babs. Hey. Shout out to the H Town. Hey. Mama. <laughs> Once again, I want to thank Amar for coming through. Thank you for having me. Um, like I said before, shout out to everybody who hold me down. Fan, um, friends, family, all my friends on Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Just keep doing what y'all do, and I promise y'all, when my album drops, y'all won't be disappointed. Word. Any shout outs real fast? Yeah. Any Hussie. Shout -outs? Okay. Mom, dad, brother Anwan, Q, brother Bam, whole Stacks crew, um, and just Newark and Jersey in particular. And that's it. Yep, we out here till next Wednesday. You know what time it is, 10.30, Ray Ray's Block, WKNJ 90.3, The Sounds of KU. We out.